Okay, next up we're with Peter Barkley from Marshalls. Um, hi, Peter. Hi, how are you? Very good. Um, what do you guys do here? Tell us a little bit about your work. Well, Marshalls are leading landscape and hard landscape manufacturing in the UK. Uh, the Street Financial Division, which I'm in charge of, we, we look at incorporating PAS and IWA crash-tested products into landscape and into street financial products. Okay, should we take a little walk and yeah. talk? Because I know you're excited yeah. about a couple of things. Yeah. Well, usually the, the IWA and PAS uh, products for promoter protection in the UK are based around big bollards. So what we try to do is try to look at how to incorporate them into things that are a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, within Marshalls, we have a strong history of working with landscape architects. Um, and obviously, they're very much uh, looking at the aesthetic design of a public realm scheme. So we incorporate the PAS technology into many different products, whether it's bins or planters, seats, uh, light stacks, monoliths. But really looking at the overall aesthetic design of the project um, and how security should play an important part within that project. It is so important, isn't it, that it's not ugly because, I mean, not only is it a little bit intrusive if you do have these big bollards there, you know, you wouldn't even notice looking here in front of us. Well, there's a big drive nowadays to, to make the public realm a welcoming place and a place that public use. Um, and that's what our company is very much about, is trying to soften the effect of, of the products that, that have to be within the environment. Um, so within the street furniture company, we do everything from monoliths and light columns. Um, and nowadays there's so much street clutter. And we look at trying to incorporate as many of those products into one, but look at how we can bring technology to them to make them just not a dumb product you sit on, mm. but a product that serves multiple functional uh, uses, um, obviously security or, or just, just a seat. Talking of sitting down, why don't we take yeah. a seat for this next bit and uh, you can tell us maybe a bit about your, your client base, the people you're working with, the people you'd like to work with moving forward. Well, I mean, as a company, we, I'd say we do, try to work very much from the beginning of the project. So try to work very closely with clients um, through landscape architects and engineers to design the aesthetic and the functional elements of a project. Um, but obviously we need to deliver those projects. So we have very close links with contractors um, and through to the merchant fraternity within the UK. So really follow that project right through to completion to make sure that what is designed is actually delivered. And what's got you most excited, maybe outside of your own brand, um, this year? It's a massive event, there's so much to see and do. What's caught your eye? I think the thing for me is it's the, the technology element. Um, you know, we're about trying to integrate new technology into our products. Um, and it's great to see so many different forms of technology in the show. And it gives us a lot to think about, about where the market's going to be in five or ten years' time, rather than where the market is now. Could you hazard a guess where it's going to be? Uh, if I could do that, I'd be a millionaire. Magic ball. Magic ball, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for your time, Peter. No problem.